hello friends welcome to csap space today in this video session we will discuss about how to perform a global exception handling in sp.net core msc so let's start uh, we open our widget studio here i already take a sample project for performing a global exception handling so this is the default view for this project here uh, i add a one line for uh, uh, throwing uh, exception throw new exception and here i writing uh, some messages like uh, error from index view so now uh, if we run this project we will take a look on this uh, browser uh, it's a uh, building a project no it's uh, this error is occurred unhandled exception occurred means it's showing the line uh, that we uh, write into the uh, index view of the home controller so uh, this error is showing currently in the development environment if if uh, that error page is showing in a production environment so that's not good for uh, uh, for your web application and it's also the security issue for applications so uh, we need to add some appropriate custom error page for performing uh, for showing the error page so if we change their environment from development to production so uh we have to go from this launch setting dot json and then change as we net core environment from development to production now we run this project now the error page i think will be changed now this um, is showing a message this page is not working and it's a http error code is 500 means if we change the environment from development to production uh, then this uh, not showing the stack trace of uh, whole code it's showing only that this page is not working but this page is not appropriate for your users means we need to add some meaningful messages for your users so uh, we need to create some custom error pages for this now uh, we open a startup.cs and here uh, add a middleware uh, to request the uh, to request to fulfill the uh, pipeline uh, here uh, i add uh, one else condition because uh, uh, this condition is only for the development environment then it's showing for user blog uh, browser links and uh, use developer exception page now here i add uh, one more block for else else if uh, development environment if current environment is a uh, uh, not a development environment then this going for this app dot user exception swing by user mm -hmm. exception handler and here we write some redirect page it's showing in suggestion it's showing four methods four parameters it's like exception handler options and it's a error handling path is for uh, i application builder configure so now we, we use a error handling path so here i provide a error handling path after this i create a one more controller for error handling 
so now I add one more controller for error handling here right click on and add a new controller and rename it as a uh, rename it as a error this a new item and here we choose mbc controller and then rename is as a error and then add this controller and now here uh, we add a error views because we perform uh, we uh, add a url as error controller and then here we uh, provide a root it's a error because uh, here we provide a url as a error so we root this uh, view as a error error name uh, now here we uh, write a code for accessing the error error path and message and their stack trace so I add a variable like a exception handler exception handler equal to HTTP context dot features dot get and it's a i exception i exception handled handler exception For, accept, uh, for accessing uh, i exception handler for features we need to add uh, one more namespaces is uh, using microsoft dot spnet code dot diagnostics now here we access uh, i exception handler in handler feature now uh, we will take some view backs for storing their values view back dot exception path like uh, if we, we want to show their uh, generated exceptions path then here we need to store their path is uh, exception handler dot path I think it's a exception handler path features no it's showing their path and then it's a view back dot exception message is equal to exception handler dot error dot message and if we want to show that they are stack address it's a view back dot stack press is equal to exception handler dot error dot stack address no uh, this all mm, there is the path this is for masses and this for stack dress
so uh, if you want to store these values uh, into in your log tables or something uh, log files and for demonstration purpose uh, currently i uh, show all these values on the view page now uh, we return this view so in next step uh, i need to add a uh, view for uh, uh, this uh, error uh, action result method so instead i add a new view and the name is error now this uh, adding a view for uh, error page where we show the customized messages uh, for uh, for user when any exception occurred in applications so it's adding a error dot uh, css html uh, i already created a html for showing the showing exception message it's a simple html so now paste this here it's showing exception path uh, in exception path uh, we show this uh, view bag message it's a exception path and for a message here i add a view bag dot exception message and this showing for a stack trace so now uh, we take a look in the browsers oh, now i press uh, f5 no it's a building a project and it's a build succeeded Uh, by default it call the home index method uh, where uh, we add a uh, exceptions means it's directly call with a error exception method so now it's a loading now uh, this call the error error um, error view page means uh, this this message it's contain all the their path messages and their stack trace so here uh, it's showing all the exceptions path it's showing for a path means uh, currently path is the home index means is a root method so home index so it's showing a slash and this from this showing the message that uh, that we add up from this index method means error from index view and this showing all the stack trace so this is all how to handle a global exception in sp.net core i am busy so if you have any questions any problems please write in the comment box i will reply soon if you like my videos click on subscribe button and notification bell uh, we will meet in next video session 